Hello, welcome to this video where we're going to look at restoring searching for Outlook Office 365 shared mailboxes. So there's a big problem with Office 365 where if you try to search a shell a shared mailbox which is cached, you would have to go to each subfolder. For example, I've got a shared mailbox here called Adam. Each subfolder I'd have to go into and search those subfolders. I couldn't do a search on the entire mailbox, it would return nothing or, would, or it would, would return the results from my primary mailbox. So basically the settings I have here for my mailbox, I go to data files, advanced and advanced is that I want to download my shared folders. So this is my shared mailboxes. So the problem with this is this normally did work in previous exchange um, setups when you had exchange mail server on-prem. But with Office 365, the only option to search is to untick this and let these shared mailboxes run in online mode. So the issue with that, with that is, uh, is it's going to be a lot of bandwidth requests. So if you have a slow connection, you're definitely going to notice navigating between folders, clicking on emails, it's going to be slow. And you can avoid this by very one very simple thing. Leave this setting on. And we want to add, so in my case, I want to add Adam as an additional mailbox, but using my credentials to authenticate against it. So obviously for this Adam shared mailbox, I have in the background on the server, full permissions and send as permissions. So in this case, this has been auto added because it's picked up, I have these permissions, but I want to add it as an additional mailbox to restore the search feature and also allow caching. So you can do that. It's very straightforward. So basically I just go file account settings account settings and I go new and I'll just show you my office 365 here. So I've got Adam here and he's a shared mailbox and his emails here. So I'm just going to add that to my Outlook. So I'm just going to add that to my Outlook. Alright, so it's going to start trying to add this mailbox for me. And here you'll get a pop-up for your credential. So here, it obviously wants the credentials for this mailbox, but because my user, my primary mailbox name or account, has full access to this shared mailbox, I'm going to put my details in here and authenticate that way. So it might take a little while just to add that. So you might see this could be a little problem because we already have the account there on the left. So eventually the one that's been added automatically will drop off and you will see just the one that you've added as an additional mailbox. So that's it, it's all set up. And okay, and I'll close that and it will begin to download that mailbox. So you might want to just double check that you do have for the Adam one a that you do have a period specified for how long you want to download. So I've got here one year. And that's fine. We'll just wait for that to download. So you may have to close and reopen Outlook a couple times before it's going to start downloading it. Because at the moment I just opened this session so it's probably still getting my local, my primary mailbox items. So one way you can check if uh, this is happening correctly is to go to your C users, your username, app data, local, Microsoft. And this is the folder you'll see. So you're going to see a bunch of files, OST, NST, OST. So for that account you just added, you should see an OST just starting to be creative. So for that 608, 609, it was just created and the files are being now being downloaded. So that's it basically. You wait for all the items to sync before you do a search, otherwise obviously you're going to be slowed down. But there's not one other good thing to remember. If you sync a mailbox that's quite old and you choose to sync maybe only two or three years, it's still going to try and go to the server and search 
and bring you back all the results. So this can be an issue because you're pretty much waiting again. But there is a quick fix for this that you can just rely strictly on what your computer is caching in the OST file. So to do this, there is a little registry entry. You open your registry. It is in, so normally it's going to be in HKEY current users, software, Microsoft, Office 16.0, so that's uh, Outlook 2016. And it's going to be under Outlook and search. And under here, we want to create a new D word called disable server assisted search. And you want to set that to one. So now when you do a search, it's not going to go to the, to the server, to Office 365, to look for your items. It's going to look straight at your indexed items, and that's it. So you're going to get a result, all your results back that you want pretty quickly. So another thing to mention is that you do have to check your indexing options to make sure that Outlook is being indexed. Otherwise, you will not be returning results, even though you have added that mailbox as an additional mailbox. So you can go to indexing options. You can see Microsoft Outlook's already here, but if I click modify, I can make sure that's ticked. If that's not ticked, then you're not going to be indexing those OSTs and you won't return results. All right, that is all. Thanks. Bye.